Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and it is October and therefore that means it is 30 days of sketches series 13 my friends series 13. So of course um, I'm going to start as I mean to go along the playlist everybody who is playing along with videos will be adding their videos to the master playlist that is linked down below and of course the 30 days of sketches facebook group is linked down below as well because if you're not a member of the facebook group run on over and make sure you ask to join but do please make sure you answer all of the questions my friends because we we don't take the time to you know if the questions are not answered we just don't approve and and it's really just to keep the bots and um ray-ban sales people and god knows what else uh out of the group so just take a minute to answer the questions for us but that is linked down below because th there are so so many people who play along and not everybody creates videos so there is an album for series 13 and the sketch of the day the photo and then as a comment to the sketch of the day we add our layouts there so tons and tons and tons of inspiration and if that's not enough every day to pop on over there if you are a little bit newer to the series all 13 series sketches and takes on the sketches are over in the Facebook group. So let's get series 13 started, my friends. I'm so excited. Now, as always, um, it's been a few, I think it, the, the last time I was able to do every single day may have been series seven or series eight, but I do try and get between 15 and 20 layouts, and that will be my goal for this October as well. So day one, it is also, of course, Sunday. So it is also Sketch Sunday and the Sketch Sunday crew, we are naturally playing along with 30 Days of Sketches this month. And my pals from Sketch Sunday will be listed down below as well. So, um, the first sketch today is by, I hope I pronounce this correctly and I apologize if I don't, is by Rachel Gilliland or Gilliland. I, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but um, I will put, put that down below as well. Uh, and in theory, in the Facebook group, uh, her social media links may be there as well. So we get some hexagons and some stars out. I'm going to go the hexagon route and may not bring in any stars, but what I have so far, you can see there are some very large hexagons and it looks to me as if the photo is also a hexagon. So I got my, um, and these are close to my heart. I think I got these uh, from my lovely friend, Becky. And, um, I took the largest of the hexagon dies. They are stitched hexagons, which is fine. And I started by cutting my photo out. Now you can see here that I'm missing a bit here. We'll probably organize that by matting uh, this photo a little bit. And I have a little extra white down here that um, I, I, I could have maybe moved the... Uh, the die up just just a little bit but this is the labor cup the labor cup in tennis is a little bit like the rider cup in golf so it's sort of like team in in the case of tennis it's team europe so all of so european players against world the rest of the world and and that is mainly canada u.s um south america Australia and every once in a while one of the South African players joins us as well. This time we had Argentina and Canada and the US so playing along and my friends we for the second year last year we we made history team world we won the competition for the very first time 
ever. Usually we get creamed by Team Europe. And this time, my friends, we did the absolute reverse. We beat Team World 13 to 2. It takes 13 points to win. Um, and day one, each match, there are four matches, gets one point. Day two, two points. And day three, three points. Once you reach 13 points, the remainder of the games are just exhibition. So we won again this year. Here is Team World, and there's our Canadian, Felix Oje and Yassim, and Milos Rionic. Uh, Milos was uh, an alternate, so he played in an exhibition match afterwards, but Felix did us proud and won his singles match and his doubles match. Uh, to help us along the road to victory. So, my photo. Then I have my Chamel main character energy. And I had a little bit of this paper. If you remember, I, I did a diagonal design with this lovely, lovely camera paper. And I had a bit left. So, I went in and I die cut. I sort of went in to the reds. A little bit of the pink here, but mainly the reds that I did have left over. So that was perfect. And then this lovely, lovely Starburst spray paint. I took this one from the six by eight paper pad so that it's got the gold foiling. So now the background looks as though, of course it has a little bit of mixed media. So I have it. Oh my God, my friends, I looked for this stencil everywhere. The crafter, it's a crafter's work. And it was with my stencils right where it should be. I looked through my stencils four times uh, before I found it. So maybe I need to rethink my organization of stencils. I, I mean, I think they're well organized. I guess I just need to take a little bit more time going through them. So I think I'm going to use this. Now, I have two inks out. I have... Poppy Parade from Stampin' Up! because it's a little bit, it's not like a cherry red, it's not, but it matches, I think, um, our jacket, the jackets to Team World really, really, really well, as well as the red in the camera without being overpowering. So it's sort of like a tomato, they call it Poppy Red, so I guess yes, but it, it's even a little bit of a tomato-y red to me. And I've got basic gray out as well in case I want to tone it down or add a little bit of gray. So my first thought, and then I'm going to frame my layout in the Bella Boulevard Besties. I'm going to gut this for sure in Macintosh. So if we look a little bit the way we are going, and then I'll see whether I need to get some smaller hexagons either punched out um, because it does look like there are some more solid ones in the sketch. But basically, you know, it will go like this and like this. And I'm going to back my photo in black, I think. And that will take care of this little sort of boo-boo here where it didn't fit. And I'm going to pop the photo up on foam and then get some of, there you see now, if I look here, look, that's going to be quite, quite perfect, isn't it? So let's do just a little bit of this together and then I'll go finish my um, stenciling off screen and I will come back and we'll finish this together. But let's, oh my goodness me, can I get this open? Yeah, there we go. Oh, every time I see Tracy use these, it looks so easy. And I always have so much trouble opening them. I have no idea why. Okay, now I'm in frame. Yes, I am. All right, so. I don't want it to be too, too dark. But I like the idea of this stencil because of the different sizes of hexagons and the pattern, the way the pattern goes. I'm gonna bring this over a little bit because I'm not quite sure where the photo. There we go. 
go. Oh yeah, see, oh, I made a little bit there. I'm going to like that. And then I'm going to bring this down here and I think do a little bit maybe of the same thing. And then we will vary the sizes. Then I'll get some of the small ones on this side. go and have that okay so we have that so far now before I close this let me just bring these back in and we will see how that is going to work okay I kind of like that now um, I think I need to put a little bit of the gray. All right, my friend, so let me go off camera for a minute. I'm going to wash my stencil a bit, get the, the basic gray ink out, and add a little bit more stenciling, get these papers down, map my photo, and I will come back and we'll finish this together. See you in a sec. Okay, my friends, so I got the stenciling down. Well, I did the, the Poppy Parade with you. And then I did go in and add a little bit of basic gray. And in certain areas, sort of just mixed it in a little bit. I, I feel that it completes it. And it tones down the red a little bit. And you've seen me do this before. I, I kind of like, I kind of like that effect. I have a little bit of a boo-boo over here, but hey-ho. All right. So I then got the two uh, large hexagons down, matted my photo. So all I did here is I took some black cardstock, matted my photo, leaving enough room that I could just basically cut around it because I had used the largest of my dies. So I needed to cut. So I just adhered it to my black cardstock and then just did some straight lines here so that I could get the shape correct. And I'm not going to worry about that. It, it is what it is. We'll see if we add, you know, I, I did bring in, so I went into my stash and I got some Bramble Fox stars and the Say Cheese and I have a red one here. These two little, um, is, are they gears or film reels that were in my stash from I'm not too sure where probably kit at some point say cheese and uh, a couple of wood buttons so you see I could maybe you know pop a wood button there but I, I don't really think it, it needs it I think adding something there will, will draw attention to the fact that the photo was a little bit off <laughs> the way it was cut so I don't think I will use that I've got my Hey Little Magpie flare here that were made to go along with um, main character energy. So I might pop one of these in here. I think the rainbow, the colors might go well with that. The, the blue, not really. Maybe magic. Maybe the magic as well if I want a second one. We'll see. I might put those, so let's put those here. Let's see, geez, would I pop that maybe in there? And then pop something like that there. We'll see, we'll see. All right, I think the first thing that I want to do, so I have these lovely bits. These are clear stickers that my lovely, lovely friend Colleen, she came to visit me, my friends. And, um, brought me some lovely, lovely goodies. So I'm thinking I might want to put game, set, and match. These are clear stickers, so they will be perfect on this white cardstock. And I went in and I got these alphas because I think I will put, I wanted to put champions, but it, it's, it's too big to fit with this 
central design and I don't really have any small black alphas. I guess I really need to do that. I could stamp, I suppose. Huh, maybe I could have stamped. But I did also want to bring in a little bit of the gold because there's some gold foiling here and there isn't any gold elsewhere and I don't want to do any splattering or use gold alphas or anything like that. I want it to be very, very subtle as it ends in this paper. So I think I have a couple of sets of these. So I think I will use these and we'll do camps. Yeah, there we go. Just put some camps here so that I basically have um, my title at the same place as it is in the sketch. So we'll get that down before we do anything else. Let me get an A from here. The, I love these letters, actually. I can't remember. Who are they from? Are they Vicky Bluton? I, I don't remember. But I, I know I got, obviously, I got two sets. So I definitely did like them to begin with. And I got these. These are quite, they've been in my stash for quite a while. I got these for sure from um, Scrapbook Your Joy. Champs. Let me get an S. And there is an S right here. Here, uh, I don't have a three on here because I could do two the 2023, although it's going to go in my 2023 album, but I do have there. Um, let's see, do I need, because I want to put this game set and match. He, oh, look at that. So they could be. Oh my goodness me. All right, all right. You see, I didn't realize that they were three stickers. Oh, that's, I thought it was one. All right, let me just try and get the match off here. There we go. Oh my goodness me. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm going to put this here. There we go, up here. Oh, I like that. Oh, I'm so happy that they are actually, I thought it was one sticker. This is so cool. Okay, so then we put set up here. And game. Oh, I like that. There we go. There we go, Colleen. I'm getting some of these lovely, lovely goodies on here. Okay. What a racket. <laughs> Games that match. I don't know if I'll put anything down here. I'm going to keep these here. And games that match. Champs. And do I want 2023? Just see, do I want to pop that there? Yes, I do actually. And I might pop a little star here. The red one. No, that one's going to be too big. I don't want that over here. I sort of want it here. Okay, 2023. I mean, I know it's going in my 2023 album, so it doesn't really need the year, but there you go. I guess if it's looked at out of context. Okay. There we go. 2023. Oh, I like that. I like that, my friends. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. So, we can put this away for now and really... I don't think we need an awful lot more. Uh, I'm not sure that I need to say cheese. Do I need to say cheese? Pop it here. No, it's a it's an odd shape. I could put it sort of like that. That's too much. Pop it there or maybe here. Something like that. No, I'm not sure I need that. All right, so let's have a look here. 
think I might want to bring this in. Or maybe pop it there. Yeah, I do think I like that. Maybe with a camera. Just to do a little bit of embellishing. And then a star. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's get this out. And as I said, these are from Hey Little Magpie. And they are made to go with the main character energy collection, which is fun. Oh, my little rainbow is a little bit crooked. There we go. Then let's put one of these fun wood buttons. These are from Shadney. I love, love, love these wood buttons. There we go. And then do I want... No, I think I just want... That's too big. One down here. Let's get a little bit of liquid glue out. These are Bramble Fox. I showed you recently where I sort of restocked my stars. Hearts and stars. I love, love, love using those. So that's a nice little embellishment there. Pop that there. Oh, let's put that star there. I do like the red there because we have quite a bit of black. Let's just get a little bit of that star right there. There we go. Pop this under there. there okay now so we have that now do I need another I don't think we do I don't think I need another flare I quite like that I don't want to put anything I don't want to take away from those cameras because lovely fearless they were believed they believed they could win I love 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 these so and th this is just by accident because I had that piece of the beautiful camera paper left and I wanted those colors but these were perfectly so happy fearless believe perfect they were perfectly so I have the red there I have this here do I want maybe another little star there yes I do like that let's pop that up here There we go. Okay. All right. Now, you see, this is a little bit of a diagonal embellishment going a different way for me. I'm always conditioned to go from left to right, top left, bottom right. I rarely, rarely go this way. And I'm quite, quite liking the way this looks. Now, I have a lot, my, my layout, um, I think, is a lot less busy than perhaps the sketch called for because there was quite a bit of embellishment on these lovely hexagons but I really would just like to let them shine as they are so I think I'm going to leave that as is and pop one more star there and do I want one there no see I don't need anything more here but I am going to add one there. So that means I'm going to have four stars in all on my layout. And that is just fine. Because I do like that. It sort of frames this whole area. I really, really don't think we need anything else. Unless I did maybe something like that. No, you see that takes away from my diagonal. And I really do like the diagonal idea here so there you go my friends we are going to call this done am i properly in frame i am so there you go day one 30 days of sketches from christie's from christie's beautiful life series 13 launched and started so again as i said the playlist is down below the Facebook group is linked down below. My Sketch Sunday Pals are linked down below as well. 
and the hashtag, hashtag 30DSCBL13 to find us or even more importantly for us to find you. Are you playing along, my friends? Let me know in the comments down below if you are playing with playing along with 30 days of sketches this month and i will see you back here very very soon i'm not sure if i'll be here tomorrow but i already have day four done and uploaded so if i'm not here before then i will see you on day four and thank you thank you as always for being with me my friends bye for now